Apple's stock has entered territory it hasn't been in for quite some time. In early trading today, Apple's shares were off roughly 2% to around $591. Apple's stock hasn't closed a day below the $600 mark since July. For a brief period on Friday, Apple's shares dropped to $591 before closing the day at $604. Might today's decline be attributable to Apple's announcement Monday of the departure of two senior executives, Scott Forstall and John Browett? Maybe, maybe not. Since September 21st when Apple's shares closed the day at $700.71, the company's stock has been on thank you for trying verbose. This recording will go away once the product has been purchased. The decline? In addition, today's decline seems to fall in line with previous single day drops. So, it's possible the drop is as much a part of a negative trend as it is a reaction to the executive departures. Still, Apple may have been concerned about Wall Street's reaction to the news about Forstall and Browett, which came while trading was cancelled because of Hurricane Sandy. Companies often announce bad news in the stock markets off hours, to give shareholders a bit more time to let issues marinate. The loss of Forstall could worry investors who see him thank you for trying verbose. This recording will go away once the product has been purchased as a key ingredient in the development of Apple's iOS platform. According to reports, he was ousted because of his unwillingness to sign a letter apologizing for problems with Apple's Maps application. Apple's ousted retail chief John Browett was let go for unrelated reasons. For its part, Apple has tried to allay fears, saying that its current executive team, including Jonathan Yves and Eddie Q, will pick up the slack. Over the last year, Apple's share price has swung widely from $363.32 to $705.07. As of this writing, the company's market capitalization, the measure of corporate value thank you for trying verbose. This recording will go away once the product has been purchased. Is about $557 billion.